Hey, hey, everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at the effect of changes in demand and supply on equilibrium. And this is the impact of an outside disturbance. And this video is a follow-up to the video that I made on market equilibrium. So what happens if one of the lines actually shifts? And the best way to do this is to diagram itself. Okay, so as we know, right, the equilibrium may be moved by an outside disturbance. In the case of demand and supply, this would be a change in one of the determinants of demand or supply, other than price, of course. So this could be incomes, this could be taste and preferences, because we can have a demand curve. It could be any of the determinants of demand is obviously going to change, which will result in an outward shift of demand from D1 to D2. So let's take the example of an increase in income for consumers on the market for gasoline, which of course is a normal good. When income increases, then there will be an increase in the demand for gasoline, and the demand curve for gasoline will shift from D1, right, outward to D2, ceteris paribus, as shown here in this diagram. Okay, so when this happens, right, actually what's going to happen is there's going to be an excess uh, demand in the marketplace. The, the, the distance from here to here, you could say, right, would be the creation of excess demand in the marketplace. Because now at this price point of P1, right, at P1, if there's an outward shift because of increased incomes, the whole line is going to shift outward. And as a result, more will be more will be demanded at every price point. So at P1, now all of a sudden the quantity demanded went from Q1 all the way out here, and we can call this point, let's just call it Q3. And But what happens? Well, this, this will reset, result in excess demand, which would be a shortage in the marketplace. Oh, so what's going to happen? Well, what's going to happen then is, so, is that suppliers are going to say, hey, look at all this extra demand out there for gasoline. I think we need to move the price up. And as they move the price upward, right? First of all, remember, these are individual data, individual data points along here, right? It's so useful to think about the demand as just a demand curve as a collection of data points and the supply curve as a collection of data points as opposed to an actual line or curve, Right? But as the price rises, all of these producers get in the marketplace and actually all of these demanders get cut out of the marketplace Right, because as price goes up, they can't buy anymore. They're not willing and able to buy anymore. And so what happens is a new equilibrium uh, price quantity combination is established and therefore you have a new market clearing price of P2, Q2 as a result of an outward shift of demand that was a result of increased incomes in a country. Okay, so now let's take a look at what would happen if there's a shift in supply. So now let's take a look at what would happen if the supply curve shifts inward. So let's imagine, here's the market for gasoline still. Let's say there was a hurricane that cut the ability of suppliers to produce uh, gasoline and get it to market. To the market. What's going to happen is as a result of the hurricane, the shift, the supply curve is going to shift inward, which is going to result in the same way in an increase, right, in the price up to P2 in the marketplace from P1 to Q, from P1 to P2 as a result of the drop in supply in the marketplace, right? And so now after the hurricane, the Price, com price quantity combination of P2Q2 will be the new equilibrium price as a result of the drop of supply as a result of the hurricane in the market for gasoline. So when either one of the demand curves or the supply curve shifts, a new market equilibrium price will be, price quantity combination will be established. And you may also refer to that as a market clearing price. If, sh if, if supply shifts inward, the market clearing price will go up. If the opposite were true and there were a drop in, say, the cost of factors of production for gasoline and the, sh and the, the supply curve shifted outward, there would be a drop in the price as a result of the shift. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll talk to you in a bit.